Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the newly updated round object tool and I also want to explain on some of the older features which is a linear option. So let's get started. Uh, if you have, I have here a basic cube, as you can see the edges in red, this is the minimum cube, which only has only six polygons. If you go to round object, uh, we used to have only one option, an advanced setting, which would be linear. And then that's it. Now it's added multiple additional options, which is different algorithms. One is this the most famous algorithm it's called Cutmel Clark. This is actually what most applications would use as a default. And this is kind of splitting everything. If you look at the wireframe, what this creates, it creates a lot of small quads, small rectangles, and then it rounds them. So what this is actually doing it smooths out everything. It creates a lot of small edges and it rounds them. It smooths them out, which creates something rounded. So let's see what's happening if we do the linear option. Let's actually see first a little bit less. So we can take something like two, that would still be rounded. If I add a linear option, you wouldn't be able to see anything unless I turn it wireframe. And you see it's just splitting it kind of like a resolution tool. It splits them. So let me explain why this is and what this is doing. So first off, this is on technical terms. This is called subdivision. The Cutler Clark is usually the default algorithm in most applications. It's called uh, subdivision. And in subdivision, it basically subdivides, as the name suggests. It just splits everything into quads. And then it also smooths them out. So if you have over here a different angle between these two, it will smooth them out and make them rounded. On the linear option, we remove them, which basically just creates the quads without subdividing. And by the way, this option is only available on the round Cotton Clark. If you go to loop, you see it just gives you a different, uh, a different type of rounding. Uh, each one has a different effect, but none of them has the linear option. And this could be quite nice, these features, for depending on what you are doing and depending on the smoothness, uh, you can create some very nice, interesting objects with the different effects. So you may ask the question, why do I need the linear option over here just to split them? So let me show you actually why you need them. So first off, I'm going to finalize this. And remember actually before I go to linear option, I have the Cutmel Clark on method and number two. So let's see, without the linear option, you get it almost like a sphere. If I do the linear option, you get nothing. Now I'm going to finalize that. And now I'm going to go again to the round object and use the same thing too. Cotton Clark, but not linear. And now look what you get now. You add actually a lot more details, but it's no longer like a sphere. It looks almost like a cube and just rounded, kind of like a fillet. That's how it looks like. So why is that? And what's happening actually is because it smooths all of the edges, uh, the more faces you have, the more the smoothness will be concentrated onto a certain location. So the roundness from here wouldn't kind of uh, propagate down towards the other faces and that's why it wouldn't be um, done. So basically the idea is linear would just allow you to add more options. So in that case, it's a convenient to have it in that tool, but it's not just a convenient. Um, technically to have this effect, you can do the same thing using um, resolution. So let me show you. So if you go to resolution, let's say if I undo this change as well, and if you go to the resolution tool, and you go over here and I'm going to add resolution, let's say something like this too. And now you have the same effect. If you're going to go to round object now, it will give you the same effect as we had before. If you look over here, round object, and let's see, not linear, Cutman Clark, you get the same effect. So why do we need this tool? So the answer is because, as I said, uh, this is called a tessellation. It's a different algorithm, which kind of undiscriminatively splits every face into four. It creates it into a quad, whereas tessellation is resolution uses a tessellation algorithm, which is generally called tessellation. Uh, the resolution over here has many additional options, but the basic algorithm is something called tessellation, and that splits an edge if it's bigger than a certain amount, but then it stops splitting them. So where does this make a difference? Let me show you where this makes a difference. If I'm going to go and select, for example, an edge, and I'm going to move this up, let's say, just kind of make them different. Um, let's say even if I'm going to make it even something like this, give it like a very strange look, let's say a complex shape. So now if you're going to go now to tessellation, let's see what this is going to give you. I mean resolution, which is called tessellation. 
look how this gives you this gives you kind of like an ugly type of face and the more detail you get let's see if i go even the max five you know it, it gives you over here some place it gives you but some place you have like uneven faces it's no longer quads it's triangles and it's not very nice and sometimes you need to have maintain the look of the geometry uh, to be able to do further operations on it so this is what the problem with this is however if you're going to go to the um, round objects and let's take the linear way and let's take a linear approach like this let's up it the same idea make it a little bit more look what you get over here if you do it over here the max uh, you can see you get it actually 100 percent even cuts however this starts becoming very small and in some cases the faces starts becoming so small because this is only concerned about cutting everything in half undiscriminatively tessellation will look if an edge is too big if it's too big it will cut them uh, and in some cases we'll cut them quads in most cases it cuts them triangles and self cut converts them to quads when it can not always does it is it possible to convert to quads that's why you see it's left over triangles but the basic algorithm will cut them into triangles uh, whereas the cup clock will always cut undiscriminatively every face and if the face becomes smaller and smaller this will end up being very small that it's no longer usable and the object kind of gets destroyed in a sense that it's so small that in some cases it may create overlapping faces in this case it wouldn't allow me it doesn't allow me if it, if it will end up creating more than 500,000 faces that's basically the idea what this will uh, restrict and self get um, in this case you'll end up even like this look how much details this ends up and it's finalizing it up case let's see what i got over here i got a, to a total of almost 400,000 faces and look how this looks like this is like humongous i mean this is like crazy what this is doing and this is really not a mesh you can work with especially it makes it very expensive so that's why this is a very dangerous algorithm resolution will never do this it keeps the faces very small but in some cases if you know how to use it you have it over here so it's kind of hidden away as a linear option but it must be used with caution but the option is here i hope this was helpful and let me know if you want me to teach anything else thank you